We're here today for Time.com's 10 Questions, and bravely submitting herself to <laughs> the reader questions today is Rachel Ray. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, I think, in advance. <laughs> What were your favorite foods as a child? My grandfather lived with us and, and was my caretaker when I was uh, itty bitty. So I liked everything that old Italian men liked. <laughs> I liked what sardines you? and squid and calamari, eating calamari off your fingers and anything with anchovies. Anything with garlic and oil and um, I still eat the much the same way today. I was not a very popular girl when I opened my lunch sack at the lunchroom. I clear, I just clear out the whole left side of the lunchroom. You could smell my food at 20 paces. You've had lots of negative comments thrown at you in the past concerning mm. both your professional and personal life. How do you not let it get you down? You know, people gossip about you no matter what you do. If you're a waitress, you know, you'll, there'll always be a couple of waitresses that uh, gossip about you. I mean, that's just human nature, you know. You have to learn how to deal with that when you're a little kid on the playground. You can't let, you know, people calling you names slow you down or you wouldn't get very far in life. And, you know, with regards to uh, tabloid press especially, my husband and I, I mean, we've been through the whole gamut of emotions. First we were angry, and then uh, sad, and then uh, back to angry again, and then frustrated, and then, you know, you want to hire lawyers and armies to, you know, you, you get all self-righteous about it. And then at the end of the day, you're like, really? I don't have anything better to do with my time or my money. And, you know, there's nothing that people write about me when it comes to that, they're just criticizing my cooking skills or something, or the fact that I'm, uh, uh, you know, uh, a newbie at the, at the whole talk show game. There's very little that they write that isn't true. I, I'm, I'm not a chef. I don't bake. I am loud. I do giggle. I am goofy. After a while, my voice is annoying. <laughs> you know? I mean, what am I going to say to that? Call him up and say, yeah, you know, man, you're so right. I just can't go on. I mean, no, no, of course not. You get up and go to work. Anthony Bourdain likes to rip you on his show. Actually, this is a combination of two questions. One person asked that, another person asked, would you like to punch him? No, I actually uh, love and appreciate Tony Bourdain's work. And I think, um, I don't know if he bashes me. I think everybody has uh, a right to their own opinion. And I think um, usually when he criticizes me, he's, he's, he's got a point to make. And, you know, uh, you can't be all things to all people. And... Um, it doesn't keep me from appreciating his work or his books. How do you choose, more or less, what you endorse? Is there products that you would not endorse? Well, they're all very different. Awesome? They're all very different. And this goes back to sort of the Tony Bourdain thing. One of the criticisms Tony made um, of, of me once, I thought was quite legitimate. And I had a good answer for it, but, you know, whatever. He said, you know, you work with Yamo and you try and um, reduce the child obesity rate working with President Clinton. You're always talking about families cooking with healthier products. Why would you work with a company like Dunkin' Donuts? And Dunkin' Donuts came to me and said, listen, you know, we really love who you are and how you work, and we want to get healthier. We want to offer our people everything in the building trans fat free which at the time was a very big deal I mean I didn't think you could make a donut trans fat free I mean every once in a while I would just suck up and have a Dunkin Donut Dunkin was my favorite do you remember the Dunkin Donut you used to have a nub on it it was round and it had a little handle yeah no I don't oh it was fabulous full of nutmeg and super hot it was delish anyway they said look you know we're making some big changes we're going trans fat free we're bringing in a line of healthier foods and and we know how much you love coffee and uh, you know do you like ours and I I said, do I like yours? I grew up with it. And, you know, I thought, uh, all right, I do drink gallons of their coffee. And they wanted to get involved with and, and did um, our, our Yama organization. So I was proud to work with them, you know, in a short term and see where, where we could go with that. Now, I did say they were feisty. John Rhodes in Salt Lake said, there's an old axiom, never trust a skinny chef. Do you have any comment? What's he trying to say? Uh, I have no idea. I, I, I know well, if he's trying to say I'm too skinny, thank you. <laughs> I'd kiss you in a really inappropriate way if you were here. Um, I, I, I don't know what he's trying to say there. I mean, I think you can trust me because I ain't skinny. Uh, everything I have has stretch in it and lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've never loved... Uh, you know, the funny thing about being on television and stuff is people expect you to start dressing a little better, you know. You know, when I worked in restaurants and, and markets my whole life, I had three pair of work boots to my name, ripped jeans, you know, never wore makeup. And now this whole world of, you know, long dresses and fancy shoes and stuff, 
it's, it's still, I still trip from time to time. I'm still wobbly on them. I'm not good at it. But I've never loved clothes because I just didn't grow up that kind of girl's girl. I've never loved clothes enough to give up food, and I never will. So I'll remain a proud six. 